guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and watching another one of my videos before we get started if you're currently not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that way you'll be notified about upcoming videos so guys I am so excited about this video and I'm so excited because I am going to be doing a challenge which is the rice water challenge now I have kind of seen here and there stuff about rice water but I've never fully looked into it to see what the what all the hype was about until yesterday or it may have been the day before yesterday and I ran across um, this lady's YouTube channel her name is Paige Leanne and I'll put her information in the description below she did a one-year challenge of growing her hair with rice water and her results were absolutely amazing like I was so impressed and just shocked of her results so she shows a video where she initiated the rice water challenge and she did like an update, I think every three or maybe six months, something like that. But she would show her progress. So when she shot the last video in December, there was significant hair growth. You can tell a huge difference between her hair then, when she started a year ago, and her hair now. She was even shocked. So I'm going to leave her information in the description below so you can check out her channel and also check out her journey on this rice water to show that this stuff actually works. Now, like I always say in my disclaimer and even in my videos, not everything is for everybody. What works for me or somebody else may not work for you. So she showed her experience and the results that she got. It may be different for the next person. Now, I'm super excited to try this challenge. I have uh, researched it a little bit just to kind of find more out, more about it, more information about it. There are tons and tons of YouTube videos about rice water when i saw this i was like oh my gosh i've got to try this like what i mean what can go wrong this it's all natural so what could possibly go wrong i don't think my hair is going to fall out nobody's hair is falling out and i have seen nothing but good reviews from these videos and people talking about this rice water what i want to do is just kind of jump right into this and just start giving it a try and i'm gonna do this for a whole year but i'm gonna really I uh, give my update every three months to see if there's any progress. So every three months. Somebody will call when I'm trying to film. So after seeing her video, I went online just to see what all the hype was about and more information about this rice water and the reason that people are doing this and all the benefits and what's in this rice specifically that's causing people's hair to grow. So I researched, I went online and I found some things and I found this one website which is very informative and I'm just gonna share with you some things that I found or that I read on here uh, about rice water. It gives pretty much a whole breakdown. So I'm just gonna go over this with you, just kind of read it off just to kind of give you a backstory or background of this rice water and then I'm going to show you how I make it. I want to show you the length of my hair because um, I'm going to be doing a length check as I go. So I'm just going to get right into the backstory of the rice water and then we'll go on to how I make it. What is rice water? It says rice water looks like a milky liquid and that's because of the starch uh, residue left behind from the rice. What's the story behind rice water? It says there's a tribe called Red Yao, that's Y-A-O, in a Chinese village. It's also known as the land of Rapunzel's, I guess because their hair grows so long. It says that uh, all the women in this village have been using rice water to wash and nourish their hair. And they're even in the Guinness Book of World Record for the world's longest hair. So that's pretty amazing. These women, the Yao women, are in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the world's longest hair by simply using rice water. Is rice water good for your hair? Yes, yes, it's perfect for your hair. Studies show that the rice contains inositol. I hope I'm saying that right, inositol, which is a carbohydrate that repairs damaged hair. And it says that the inositol stays in your hair even after the rice water is rinsed off. Um, it acts as a shield and it protects your hair from damage. And the rice water also contains amino acids that strengthens your hair roots, increases volume uh, for your hair, and it also makes your hair shiny and smooth. It says it's very safe and natural. There's no side effects, absolutely no side effects. 
and it improves the condition of your overall hair in a healthy manner. What is fermented rice water? Fermented rice water is left to ferment for a while. The fermentation turns the rice into a potent liquid. Fermenting rice water enhances the existing minerals and nutrients and vitamins that are already in the rice. And it also nourishes the hair follicles. Fermented rice water is also acidic, uh, it says here. Um, so when you rinse your hair with it, it restores and balances the pH level of your hair. What are the hair benefits of rice water? It improves hair growth, it contains vitamin B, C, and E, and further helps in, which further helps your hair growth. It reduces split ends because of the amino acids that are present in the rice water. They rescue and repair the damage of your hair. It improves your hair texture and increases the volume. It also cures dandruff. How often should I use the rice water? It's recommended that you use this DIY one to two times per week, no more than twice a week. After rinsing your hair with the rice water, you're going to leave your hair under a plastic cap for 30 minutes, just let it sit, and then you're just gonna rinse it off of your hair. To get started with this DIY, I have a bowl of rice and this rice is not clean yet, it has not been rinsed off. So we're gonna transfer our rice into a measuring cup and we're gonna measure one cup of rice. Now we're gonna transfer it to a mesh strainer and we're going to rinse the rice at least once or twice just to get the dirt and impurities off of the rice. Now that all the rice is rinsed off, we're gonna transfer it into this glass canister. And to the rice, we're gonna add two cups of purified water. Now it's time to do the lymph check. Today is January 6, 2018. So currently my hair is tied up in this, whatever this is, this do-rag. So I'm just gonna take down just the back of my hair. I'm not gonna straighten out my whole hair. I'm more concerned about the middle and the back of my hair because that's the shortest. So I'm gonna take out just a section of my hair in the back and I'm just gonna straighten, out, straighten it out and show you guys the length of my hair as it is currently. All right guys, I finished straightening out this portion of my hair and I'm gonna show you the back first so you can see where it comes. So I would say it comes right across my shoulder blades, where my shoulder is right there right across, maybe just a tad bit below, just a tad bit below the cross, uh, across my shoulders. On the left side, it comes right at my neck. Right at my neck, right at my neckline. This is the right side. Right there at the collarbone. You see a difference in my hair length? <laughs> This side comes here, and this side comes here. 
But the next time you'll see me, I will be using the rinse on my hair and I'll be putting it on my hair after my wash day because my wash day is on Sundays, if you don't know. So after I get through shampooing and conditioning, I will rinse my hair with the rice water and then just rinse it out. I'll let it sit, uh, like it says, for 30 minutes under a cap, a plastic cap for 30 minutes. Let it sit and then I'll rinse it out. So the next time you see me in this video, that's what I'll be doing. All right, guys, I will see you in a little while. So here's the moment I've been waiting for. The rice water is fermented and it's very cloudy and it even, as you can see, has this film. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm going to open it up and see what it smells like. I bet it stank. Oh, it's got bubbles floating in it. Ooh, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, it just it just smells like sour rice. Well, after I shampooed and conditioned my hair, this is how much shedding I got. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's enough for me. That's just, that's just too much shedding. So I'm in my bathroom to get started with this rice rinse, and I got a little bucket here so that way I can catch the um, the extra rice water because I'm gonna just keep reusing it and repouring it over my hair couple times and then I'm going to let it sit on my hair for 30 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. and I will be back with you guys and let you know my thoughts. So just remove the cap from my hair. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this, um, on how it feels. Feels good. My hair feels super duper 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 soft. Rice water did not make my hair hard. It did not make it rough. It did not make it feel any other kind of way but soft. My hair is extremely soft. As far as the smell, I don't smell anything but the Myel Organics. I have not washed this out yet. I have not washed the um, or rinsed out the um, rice water yet. I'm just telling you how it feels right now. So I'm actually about to rinse it out right now and I'll tell you if there's a difference. I doubt there would be a difference. Gosh, my hair feels good. But let me go ahead and rinse this out. So I thought I was recording rinsing my hair out, but apparently I didn't hit the record button. <laughs> it still feels soft. And I'm gonna follow this up with a lock method while, it's, while I still have moisture in my hair. I did start a challenge with the green tea. Now I have not forgotten about the green tea challenge for shedding. And what I hear is, is that the green tea also can work well with the rice water. I haven't tried mixing them. I'm not going to start concocting stuff, but it won't hurt anything. So I'm still going to be doing the green tea um, as well as the, um, the rice water. Now, some people boil their rice water. I'm not going to be boiling mine because I want all the nutrients in there, all the vitamins and minerals that it has. I want my hair to absorb it all. And I will keep you guys updated on my progress. Um, if there's any changes, significant growth, all that stuff. So, and unless I see something drastic in the next few weeks, maybe a month or two, I will keep you updated. But my next uh, update will be in three months, three months from today. 
So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big like, a big thumbs up, because that does help support my channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and don't forget to make sure your notifications on. I will see you guys on the next video. Happy hair growing. Bye, guys.